What is up? I am Crypto Mason and welcome back to the Crypto Mason YouTube channel. Shout out to the Gold Squad. We are looking for gold in every single aspect of our lives and we always find it. Now we've got a great video lined up. I'm going to talk about um, the Bitcoin price. We've got some Ripple stuff. We've got a lot of Ripple stuff. We've got a new HBAR partner actually. And then at the end, I'm going to talk about something that kind of scares me um, from JP Morgan. Um, but make sure you drop a like on the video, make sure you drop a subscribe, all that shit, leave a comment, hashtag gold squad, and let's, um, let's get into it right here. So we know that we have the Elon Musk and Jack Dorsey debate happening on, where is it? July 21. I will be participating in this, um, this di live discussion. So we've got me right there in the corner. Uh, crypto weatherman this is a uh, sessa michael sessa this is um joshua jake and then blockchain boy so we will be on like a panel in the crypto night discord and it will be at this time and we're going to basically discuss that so i can't wait for that it's actually going to be <laughs> pretty insane if he if if elon pulls some weird shit if he pulls some weird shit i mean i hope my predictions come true that's all i'm hoping for is that he speaks highly of eth because that's my only prediction is that he's going to speak very highly of ethereum and dogecoin of course um <clears throat> and he's going to talk a little bit bad about bitcoin and okay, so let's start off with Ripple clients. Actually, no, we got to start with the market here. 30,000. Look at this freaking snail. Look at this pathetic, dumbass, slow ass, dinosaur ass, tortoise ass, snail ass Bitcoin. Okay. 30,000. It is not looking good. Trust me. Bitcoin is not looking good. We are about to also hit a full moon on July. Um, What was it? Hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me go to my things. Uh, July 23 is the full moon. And um, we're about to, I mean, I think the bottom is going to come in near that date, uh, near that date. So maybe we go below 28,000. I don't know. I don't know. Anything can happen with this, with, with Bitcoin. And we have um, the Jack Dorsey thing right before that, right on July 21. And actually, if you're into the astrology, there's an amazing Jupiter placement apparently on that date. So maybe we see a spike and then boom, the bottom for the full moon. But I don't know. Never use astrology to do anything, folks. Um, just use it as a layer. We've talked about this before. Just use it as a layer. <clears throat> Another power in your arsenal of powers. So Dash is up the biggest. I'm not a fan of Dash. I just think it's old and just weird and not really that great but i mean if you're trying to make money then you can make some money on it so it looks like a bunch of weirdo coins are up today like clayton and ethereum classic i don't resonate with any of those at all um <clears throat> but <clears throat> let's get into the ripple news today we've got um a couple weird stretch partnerships where they're trying to stretch it and make it look bigger than it is ripple friendly Nuum joins forces with visa and for you pay i don't know how to pronounce that shit so there's a couple partnerships uh brewing <clears throat> the point is that the point is that ripple partners are still inking new partnerships while this is happening so nothing has stopped and here i want to show you these moons look at this full moon there's always volatility basically look at this bottom boom uh lower low look at this it's like, and if you guys didn't know, there's indicators for everything. So you can really slap the moon cycles on here if you wanted to on the daily. Um, but let's move on. John Deaton. <clears throat> I wouldn't think John Deaton would tweet a false quote out. So basically, the congressman Tom Emmer has said that XRP is not a security. He wouldn't tweet a false thing out. So that's facts, I guess, which is insane. That's pretty insane. Um... Yeah, that's pretty insane. The chosen one right here says, based on holding 10k XRP, if you have 12, if you have 1,250, and XRP goes to 10 bucks, this is just math. This is just math. 
Many people ask me, how much is the right amount of XRP? Dude, it's just math. If you're broke, you can get one XRP. If you're rich, you'll buy 10,000 or 50,000 or 100,000. Um, so these are the different things. So if you want to be a millionaire, you need 1,200 XRP and it to go to 1,000, which is just insanity. Um, if you have 5,000 XRP and it goes to 10K, 50 million. Okay. <clears throat> so this is very false. I mean, this is very just like for fun type shit. Like most, like 10,000 is so irrational. It's not even funny. Um, it's not even funny. For that to happen, do, like so many other things have to happen. I'm talking one world government type shit needs to happen. That volume or that um level of stuff. Amazing news right here. Hedera has just made a new partnership with LCX. And now look at this in my telegram. In my telegram, at the beginning of July, I said, LCX is for sure an exchange coin to keep an eye on with all of this exchange regulation news, as it is already regulated. Also, they're partnered with Quant. And I said, by the way, I don't own any, and I still don't own any. I also showed how their logo is the same as Exodus right there. And now they're partnered in, they're partnered with Hedera right here. So let's check out the LCX coin right quick and hold on lcx there we go the lcx coin is at two cents and i do think it might pump off this news but wow is that an insane accumulation level the all-time high is 12. i mean i don't know i might have to get some i don't i don't think i will though i don't think i will i don't i just don't have room in my portfolio but that could be a great thing it's connected to hedera now XRP God says, at what XRP price do you tell your boss to F off? I don't have a boss, so let me know your answer to this in the comments. But, I mean, it should be around, like, depends on how much XRP you have, actually. Digital Asset News says, I'm calling it right now. The bull market is back. I've seen way more scam videos on YouTube over the last week as I have in two months. So, he's basically saying it's back because of scams. Now, I don't think so, because the scams don't really care if it's a bear market or bull market. They're going to continue. And please watch out for these, man. These live streams. It's so sad that there's 2.7 thousand people watching that, as you can see right there. So sad. Those are complete scams. Something needs to be done. I am personally offering $1 trillion out of my own pocket to the person who can fix the scam situation. I will give them personally one trillion dollars out of my own bank account. Okay, Alex, uh, this dude says the 15th largest ETH holder is an Ethereum ICO participant. He holds 560,000 ETH, has not made a single transaction. Strongest hands ever or lost keys. Look at this. So, how, like, why wouldn't you even, like, he's not even living off this money. Like, you could stake that and just make interest and things, right? You could stake at least some of it or just live off it. So, he's not even doing anything with it. It's not even moving. So, that makes me think it's lost keys, but I don't know. I don't know. I, and I think this is the dude we've been watching on Crunchbase. If you are in the Udemy, you know who that is. Um, and here's the thing that scares me from JP Morgan is basically onyx okay this is onyx it says a new model for innovation in financial systems from jp morgan <clears throat> now this is essentially like <clears throat> like replacements to the public shit you can't invest in onyx you cannot invest in onyx and this is a whole thing for banking right here like 25 plus of the world's top 50 banks 400 leading institutions it just looks like ripple and you can invest in this and it's private and everything. But they do use JPM coin. And honestly, it looks like a half-assed project that they're just throwing up here as kind of like a smoke screen. And JPM coin also sounds like a smoke screen and just a distraction. But these type of things do scare me. Because there's an article right here. They're on a blockchain hiring spree. So what if they just build out the private systems regulate the crypto and just block us out of everything that's the only fear i have but i mean why have 400 plus financial institutions already signed on to ripple 
Like, why is everything just not showing that we'll go to the private way? Okay. But that's all I've got. Thank you for the, uh, thank you for watching. Make sure you, uh, follow on Instagram, Twitter, all of that shit. And I appreciate every single one of you and goodbye. Crow, Steve.